Okay. okay. Praise God, everybody. Today is a wonderful, bright day. It's a wonderful, bright day. The day is very bright. We are going out now to preach to the whole world. Jesus. Hey. Jesus. Say. I say. That's our message. Going out there to tell the people that Jesus Christ saves. That's our message. That's our mission. To save souls. To go out and preach the good news. And to bring the people of God to the obedience of Christ. Because Jesus Christ is Lord forever and ever. And we're going to go out there and tell them the story. The good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ saves and sets free from every power of darkness. We're going to take authority in many uh, in many junctions today, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our God is a good God, everybody. Jesus Christ lives and reigns. He's a faithful and a just God. And there is no one like unto him. The name of God is highly lifted up. <clears throat> and at the name of Jesus Christ, every new Shabbat. Jesus Christ lives and reigns. His name is so good. His name is so kind. His name is so faithful. Our God lives and reigns forever and ever. And he is our God. For he is our God, and our God forever. There is no one like unto him. He has got no comparison. We cannot compare our God with any other God. The name of our God is powerful, strong tower. The word of God says that the righteous run into the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and they are saved. Are you one of the righteous today? Today is the day of salvation, brother. You got to run into the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Because this is the day the Lord has made given to us. Our God is faithful. Jesus loves you, sir. Our God is faithful and just. He has given us a very, very brand new day. It's a very, very brand new day. And this is that wonderful day the Lord has made given to us that we should rejoice and be glad indeed. It is a good day. It is a faithful day to be happy. But today the word of God wants us to understand that we cannot hide anything away from God. We cannot hide our sins away from God. God is seeing you, whoever you are, wherever you come from. God bless you, brother. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hello. You know, the young lady, the young gentleman, say Jesus is Lord, yes? You are happy? Jesus is Lord. Amen. God is a good God. So our God is a faithful God. We want to take authority in this junction. Because we believe that the name of God is a strong tower. The name of God is strong. This is a great day. It's a wonderful, faithful day. We want to take authority in this junction. We want to hand it over to God. But the word of God says that our fight is not against the flesh and blood, but our fight is against the power of darkness. Jesus Christ is Lord forever and ever. And we want to make him Lord over this very junction. Jesus Christ, live and reign forever and ever. The name of God is a strong tower. The righteous run into the name of God. And the righteous is saved and saved by God. So we stand in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
the Son of God that died for us on the cross of Calvary. And we want to take authority in this place. And we want to send devil to fire. So I'm taking authority in this very junction today. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm positioning the angels of God to guide this very junction. So that all practices of the devil will be able to succeed in this junction. And the word of God says to us that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but our battle is against the principalities and powers, and against, against every evil, against every evil power. The word of God says, by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, I appeal to you, I, Paul, who am who I am timid when face to face with you, but bold when away. I beg you that when I come, I may not have to be as bold as I expect to be toward some people who think that we live by the standard of this world. We never live by the standard of this world. You don't live by the standard of this world. The standard of this world is corrupt. This world is very corrupt. That's the standard of the world. Very, very evil. The world is corrupt. The world is full of evil. Do you understand me, sir? So we don't live according to the standard of this world. We live according to the standard of God. According to the standard of the word of God. That's what Apostle Paul is saying here. That every one of us will live according to the standard of the word of God. That's, only, that's what's going to save us. Jesus Christ is Lord forever and ever. So we live according to that standard. And that standard is the standard that destroys the power of darkness. That standard is the standard that overturns the kingdom of darkness. And the word of God continues to say that we live not according to the standard of this world. Although we live in the world, we do not wage war against the world as the world does. The weapon we fight with are not the weapon of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish stronghold. Therefore, we demolish stronghold in this junction in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold we demolish, we take authority against every stronghold that operates in this junction. In Jesus' name, amen. We demolish argument and every pretension that set itself up against the knowledge of Christ. So every argument in this very junction, we take authority in the name of Jesus. We destroy it, we demolish it. Every pretension that we go in, in this very junction, we take authority in the name of Jesus. We demolish it. By the power of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Every dominion, every argument, every evil forces, every power of darkness that is working in this very junction. We take authority in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and we demolish it. Because the name of God is a strong tower. And we know that God is the almighty God. He has power over. He rules over all the earth. He rules over all the principalities and powers. He gives them positions and he destroys them whenever we ask him to destroy them. God bless you, sir. Our God is a very, very good God. Our God is faithful. So we take authority against every argument and against every stronghold and against every pretension that set itself against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And we be ready to punish every act of disobedience. So we are punishing every act of disobedience. We take authority against every tongue that will rise against Christ in this place. Because Jesus Christ is Lord in this land. We claim this land for Christ. We claim this junction for Christ. We demolish every power of darkness in this place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Every argument in this very place, we demolish it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every kingdom of darkness in this very place, we demolish it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our God is a very good God. God bless you. God bless you, sister. God bless you. Amen. Our God is a wonderful God. So we stand in the name of Jesus Christ. And we say that every evil thought that rises against the word of God is bring low in Jesus' name. Every disobedience is completely destroyed. And every evil argument, misunderstanding, fighting, quarrel in this very junction, we destroy by the power of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Because he is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. The Lord of Lords forever and ever. He live and he reign. And there is no one like unto him. Jesus Christ is Lord. So we make Jesus Christ Lord in this junction. We enthrone this junction. We enthrone the power of God in this junction. And we take authority in Jesus' name. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is faithful and just. So we destabilize every organization of the power of darkness in this very place, in this very world. We destabilize them, we destroy them, we paralyze them. By the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is a great God. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus loves you. You understand what I mean? You're going to repent from your sins. Today is the day of salvation. You must repent from your sins. You know, Jesus is coming soon. If you carry on like that, if you carry on like that, you're going to hell. Jesus is coming soon. Our God is a faithful and a just God. Blessed be the name of our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross of Calvary. Our God take dominion and authority over all this place in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Our God lives and reigns forever and ever. As we move to the next junction, as Jesus Christ take authority, and then we say to everyone today, your sins will find you out if you do not get off, off your sin. Your sin will definitely find you out because you cannot hide away from God. Whatever you do will find you out. In any way you are hiding, you think you are hiding out, your sins will find you out. Our God is a good God. You think God cannot see you? You think, you think God is not recording everything you do? Our God is good. Jesus Christ is seeing every one of you. Recording everything you do, good and bad. So that's what the Bible says. That if you do not repent from your sins, if you do not confess Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you've sinned. You've sinned, and your sins will find you out. What the Bible says is true. The Word of God is yes and amen. And He says, Your sins will find you out. Our God is a very good God. So Jesus Christ is telling every one of us today, and he's saying, whatever you do, will definitely find you out. Jesus Christ loves you, my, my daughter. But I tell you, all the sin that you commit will find you out. Let me call you myself, Dad. Yeah? Jesus loves you. Let's make some <laughs> Go, go ahead, go ahead. Give God the praise. Just, just do some dancing. Do some dancing to the glory of God. So the word of God says that your sins is going to find you out if you do not repent, as it has always been. As it has always been. The sins of the people that offend God, find them out. We remember the sins, the sins of Cain and Abel. The sins of Cain. Cain killed Abel. He did. That's the first murder. That's the first war. Cain killed Abel. And he thought that God is not going to see him. But God did see Cain. Because God is everywhere. You cannot hide from God. God see Cain. And God called unto Cain and said, Cain, where is your brother? Tell me, Cain, where is your brother? And Cain began to say, Am I my brother's keeper? 
Yes, you are your brother's keeper. You cannot kill your brother and begin to ask whether you are your brother's keeper or not your brother's keeper. You are your brother's keeper, everybody. We are our brother's keeper. So our God is a great God. Our God is a faithful and a just God. Jesus love you, my friend. Our God never fell. Our God never changed. We are all our brother's keeper. We cannot hide it away from God when we, when we destroy our brother's life, when we kill, when we tell lies. We cannot hide it away from God. Because we are all our brother's keeper. God is going to judge us. God is going to ask you, where is your friend, brother? God is going to ask you a question, where is your brother? Where is your friend? Where is your brother? Where is your friend? Where is your parents? Where is your mother? Where is your father? Because you should be a brother's keeper. That's what the Bible says. That we are our brother's keeper. So God called unto Cain and said to Cain, where are you? And Cain said, am I my brother's keeper? Yes. Of course. You should be a brother's keeper. Because we are from one source. God. God made every one of us. And God has given us the authority to protect ourselves, to strengthen ourselves, to help ourselves. When you cannot help your brother or your sister, then you become your brother. You, you, you become a transgressor of law. Sin is a transgressor of law. Jesus Christ's law is risen from the dead. The Bible says every knee must bow. Therefore, you must bow wherever you are. You cannot hide away from God. God loves you so much. And God lives and reigns forever and ever. There is no one like unto him. His name is highly lifted up. Therefore, today I want you to know one thing. Just one thing. You are your brother's keeper. You are your brother's keeper. You must, you must take care of your brother, your sister, your friend. You must. If you don't take care of your brother, your sister, your friend, God will find you out. The sins will find you out. So our God is a good God. So you can see, you cannot escape, you cannot run away from God. Because your sins will always find you out. Therefore today, the word of God is letting you know that whatever you do, God knows it. Whatever you do, God knows it. Whatever you do. And the word of God says, if you don't repent from it, if you don't change, your sins will find you out. And this is the truth. Your sins will find you out. You cannot hide away from God. I tell you, God is seeing you. Nobody can hide away from God. God knows every one of us and God is seeing us. We can't hide away from God. We may cover our sins from the eyes of our friends and brothers and sisters. But we cannot hide our sins away from God. Our God is a very good God. Therefore, we take authority in this very place against every argument and against every dominion and against every power of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. You can't hide it away from God. Jesus Christ loves you. There is no way you will hide it away from God. For today is that great day. Today is that great day of salvation. You better come to God today. You better come to God today. Jesus is waiting. God is knocking at the door of your heart. And the word of God says that God is knocking. God is knocking at the door of your heart. And the word of God says, if you repent, Jesus Christ will forgive you. But if you do not repent, you will be punished. So Jesus Christ is Lord forever. So we lift up this junction for the presence of the Almighty God. Just as the Bible says, our weapon is not against flesh and blood. It's not flesh, it's not blood. But our weapon is a divine weapon. Mighty true God to pull down every stronghold. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I'm pulling down every stronghold in this junction. In the name of Jesus. 
I'm pulling down every argument and everything that rises against the power of God in this junction. I pull it down in the mighty name of Jesus. I take authority by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I decree that the name of God will highly be lifted up in this very junction. Every day and every time and every argument against the word of God is destroyed by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is Lord. We know that. Everybody know that. And that's true. There's no argument about that. There's no confusion about who Jesus Christ is. He is Lord. He is the King of Kings. He is the King of Glory. Our God never fell, never disappointed us. Therefore, he said that we should take authority. So we take authority here today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we destroy every part of that. And we destroy every stronghold that operates in this area. Jesus Christ loves you, son. God bless you, son. We destroy every authority. We destroy every stronghold that is operating, that is working in this very dungeon. We take hold of them. We hold them responsible. And we banish them to the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But we give you praise. But we worship you for all you've done in this junction as we take authority, as we take authority, as we establish the kingdom in this very junction. In the name of Jesus. Our God is a good God, brother. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ is Lord. So we take authority, we establish the kingdom of God in this land, in this world, and in this very junction. From today onwards, the name of God will be highly praised in this junction. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ loves us and He cares for us. And He is a great God. There is no one like unto God. Therefore, today is the day of salvation. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is a great God. And He is a faithful and a just God. Every power belongs to our God. Every authority belongs to our God. Every power belongs to our God. Every authority belongs to our God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. God bless you, sister. Thank you very much. Our God is faithful and our God is just. So we are going to the next, uh, next, next junction to take authority. So we are taking authority today. Today we are taking authority in every junction in what I'm so market. We're taking authority and we're establishing, positioning the angels of God in every junction. So that every argument and every dominion and every power of darkness and every principle and powers and standing forces and standing operations in every junction in this very place, in this very water store market is destroyed because of the power of anointing. Every yoke in this place is destroyed. Every yoke of the evil spirit in this place is destroyed. Every oppression of darkness, every oppression of devil in this very place is destroyed today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ who died for us. Our God is faithful. Our God is just, and there is no one like unto God. So we take authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're going to the next junction to take authority in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our God is raising from the dead. We are serving a just God, a wonderful God, the risen King. He's alive. He's alive forever and ever. Is powerful. Our God is great. That is not like unto God. The name is Jesus, a strong tower. The righteous run into the name of Jesus Christ. The righteous is saved. Our God is wonderful. Our God is glorious. Today is our good day, the authority day. We are taking authority in this land. We are taking authority in this place in the name of Jesus. Because every power belongs to God. Every power belongs to God. Every power belongs to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a superpower, more than every other power. Because the Bible says the name of God is highly lifted up above every other name. That's the power that overcomes death and sin. That's the power that overcomes grave. That's the power that overcomes Herod. That's the power that overcomes all the Pharisees and Sadducees. That's the power that overcome every kind of form of sting of death. The Bible says, Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, death, where is your sting? Our God is a good God. Where is your pain? 
The power that will overcome every pain is the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. To overcome pains, every pain in our life, every worries in our life, the power of Jesus Christ overcomes every pain and every worries, every sickness is overcome, is overthrown by the power of Jesus Christ. So we are taking our authority in this junction as well. We are raising up the name of Jesus Christ, who is above every other name. And our God is faithful. And just as one of God says that we take dominion, we take authority against every dominion. And every power that rises itself against the word of God and against the knowledge of God. So every power, every authority that is rising itself against the word of God in this very country, we take authority against it in the name of Jesus. We destroy it by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because the Lord is risen, our God is on the throne, our God is alive, Jesus is alive. Every other God, they are the works of men. But we have called the name of Jesus Christ, who is alive. Every other God and every other prophet have died and gone. But Jesus Christ is alive, He's alive forever. He's alive and He's coming back again. No other prophet is coming back than Jesus Christ, the Son of God. That's why He's the Son of God. That's why he is God. He's coming back to take his people home. The best thing for us to do is just to believe in the name of our Lord Jesus. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful and just. That is not like unto God. Great is the faithfulness of God. Jesus Christ loves us so much. Our God is faithful and just. Jesus Christ is Lord forever and ever and ever. Therefore, we take authority in this very place. And we say every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful. So we take authority against every argument in this place and against every evil power that is rising against the knowledge of God in this place. We take authority against every dominion of the power of the darkness that is working in this place. We bind them in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy all their functioning in this place. Every functioning demonic forces, every functioning darkness in this very place, in this very land, in this very water store market square, in this very market, water store market. Every walking, every demonic force that is operating in this place, we take authority in the name of Jesus and we bind it in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says our weapon is not, it's not a physical weapon, our weapon is spiritual and divine. Therefore, we use that very, very authority that is in the power that God has given to us. Because the Bible says that many trust in chariots and many trust in the weapon of war, but the word of God says we trust in the name of the Lord. Many trust in character. Many trust in the weapon of war. But we trust in the name of the Lord to destroy every power of darkness, to destroy every argument, to destroy every wicked forces that is operating in this very junction. We take authority today in the name of Jesus and we we'll position the angels of the living God, the archangels, the warrior angels, to guide this very junction, to guide this very welcome in the name of Jesus. That every evil of the power of the darkness can never ever succeed, can never ever succeed, can never ever succeed in any place around this very world and in the name of Jesus. We take authority as children of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our God is a good God. Today is a good day. It's a wonderful good day. Jesus Christ is Lord forever and ever. Forever he will be the Lamb upon the throne. Jesus Christ live and reign forever and ever. So today is our authority day. We take this authority, we smash the head of the Leviathan. We smash the head of the Leviathan because our God is greater. God is the maker of everything. He makes everything. He created us. He made us. He formed us. Our God is great. Today is that wonderful day. Today is a great day. Jesus Christ lives and reigns. That is not like unto God. Jesus Christ lives and he reigns forever and ever. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we take authority, as we've seen this day to be the authority day, oh God. We're taking authority today in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of Jesus Christ today, we're taking authority against every power, against every power of that that's operating in this very junction. We take authority in the name of Jesus and we smash them. We smash in the name of Jesus. 
Our God is a great God. This is a Vernon Junction. We take authority here. And the children of God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says every kneel must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every communion in this very place that is walk, every communion of darkness, every communion of the principles and powers, and every communion of standing forth in the name of Jesus Christ, we take authority. And we smash them in the name of Jesus. Every argument and every tongue that rises itself against the word of God and against the power of God in this place, we take authority and we smash every argument. We smash every tongue that rises against the word of God. We smash every argument that rises against Jesus Christ in this place. We smash them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray that Jesus Christ will live and reign because today is the day of salvation. Today is an acceptable day. So we take authority and we position the archangels around this very place to guide this place so that no power of darkness can be able to succeed in all his power in this very junction, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Jesus Christ lives and reigns. Our God is alive and he is walking and he is alive. And that is none to be compared with him. He is a great God. He is a wonderful God. He is a just God. He is a great, he's a wonderful God. That is not like unto him. Jesus Christ lives and reigns forever. So we stand as an ambassador of our Lord Jesus Christ and we bring the goodness, we bring the goodness of salvation to every soul in the name of Jesus. Every soul must bow down before the Lord. Every kneel must bow down before the Lord. Every body must bow down before the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every authority must bow down before the Lord. Every wicked demonic forces must bow down before the Lord. Every argument must bow down before the Lord. Every wicked spirit must bow down before the Lord. Every witches and wizard must bow down before the Lord. Every power of darkness must bow down because Jesus Christ is risen and he is our God. That is no one like unto him. Today we take authority in the name of Jesus Christ and we smash the head of the Libyans in this very place, in Jesus' name. Amen. Our God is a good God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us authority over this place. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for taking care of this place. Oh, God, we bless you, Lord. As you position your guide, guardian angels and your Bethel and your Rufel, oh, God, and your Raphael, oh, God, to guide this very function, oh, God, to the glory of our God, to the glory of the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is a faithful and a just God. There is no one like unto God. He is good. Our God is a good God. So we give God praise. We lift up the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ in this place by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ because He is Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's a good day. Today is a day of authority. Take authority every day. And today we've come to what I'm so central to take authority from in every junction, every junction in what I'm so central. We are taking authority because the name of Jesus Christ is high above every other name. Our God is great, our God is faithful. That is no other name. That is no other name. That is no other name. That's no other name. Rastafara is dead and is in grave and is gone to hell. Rastafara is dead, is dead, is dead and is gone to hell. Suffering in hell. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. The Bible says every kneel must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Therefore we stop every oppression of the power of darkness in this junction as well. We stop every operation of the power of darkness in this junction in the name of Jesus. We stop them. We stop the power of darkness. We stop the principles and powers. Jesus Christ is Lord. We stop every oppression of the darkness in this very junction in the mighty name of Jesus. Because our God is a good God. Our God lives and reigns forever and ever and ever. Jesus Christ is Lord. So today, we rise in the name of Jesus Christ, in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, we take authority against every communion that is, that is operating in this place, against every power of darkness, against every principle of power, against every humanist force, against every argument that is rising against the, the word of God, every argument that is rising, every tongue that is rising against the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this place, we smash them in the name of Jesus. We crush them, we crush the head of the Libyans, we destroy the Libyans, in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God is a great God. Our God is a faithful and a just God. There is no one like unto God. His name is silently lifted up. So we lift up the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this very junction, in this very land, in Great Britain, in London, and in Walthamstow. And in this Walthamstow Central Market, we lift up the name of Jesus Christ. And we take authority, and we pray, and we decree. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, every new must bow, every tongue must confess to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, because the Lord is God. Our God lives and reigns forever. That is no one like unto God. His name is highly lifted up above all the earth. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. 
He is Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. He is the King of Glory. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. That is not like function. No authority to compare with him. Our God is good. So we take authority today and we position all in all areas. Or this along this road, we position the arch and the angels of God, the warrior angels of God. As many trust in chariots, many trust in the weapon of war. But we trust in the name of the Lord. We trust in the word of God. We trust in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is raised. Our God is raised. Jesus Christ is raised. Jesus Christ is alive forever and ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As we take authority today. As every argument is destroyed, as every dominion is destroyed, as every standing forces is destroyed, as every precise and powers is destroyed, as every wicked demonic standing of oppression and organization in this place is destroyed and cast to hell. Devil is cast to hell. Devil is sent to hell because Jesus Christ is raised. Our God is the good God. Death is sent to hell. Every part of darkness is sent to hell because Jesus Christ is raised in the name of Jesus. But I will give you praise and thanks, O Lord, for I worship you. I will glorify your name, O God, because your name is highly exalted. Your name is highly magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us authority. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because we have taken authority in this place in the name of Jesus. Jesus lives. Jesus never fell. Jesus never disappoints us. Our, our God is faithful and just. Today is wonderful. It's a great day. It's a wonderful day. Jesus Christ is Lord. He lives and he reigns. That is not like unto him. His name is highly lifted up above every other name. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the raising king. He's the raising king. He reigns over all the nations. He reigns. He reigns over all every nation. He reigns every language. He reigns against every power of darkness. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is a great God. He is a wonderful God. He is the redeemer. He is the comforter. But I thank you, Lord Jesus. I bless your name, Lord, because you are God. As we are taking authority today, O God, as we are taking authority today, O God, in this land, O God, and in this very street, O God, and in this water, I'm so central, O God, we take authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because you are Lord, you are God, you are a faithful God, you are a mighty redeemer, you are a comforter, you are great, O God. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross of Calvary. Today is that great day. Our God is faithful and our God is just. Jesus Christ is wonderful. Today is wonderful day, great day. Therefore, we are taking authority today. We take authority in this very place today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We take authority in this junction in Jesus' name. We take authority by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the word of God, and by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is highly exalted, which is highly lifted up. We take authority. In this very place, in this very junction, in this road, in the main road, we take authority. In this very St. Prince Junction, we take authority in the name of Jesus. But the Bible says the name of our Lord Jesus Christ is highly lifted up above all other names. The word of God says the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every name must bow. So we command every name, every name of the power of that to bow before the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this very junction. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our God lives and reigns, and our God is worthy to be praised. Our God is worthy to be glorified. As we take authority in this great nation against every attitude, against every part of that, and against every walk of that in this very place, and against every walk of the principles and powers and standing forces and demonic forces in this place, we take authority, we smash them, we destroy them, we destroy their kingdom, we pull down their kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ of us. We pull them down, we pull them down by the power of our Lord Jesus. We pull down every idea, we pull down every idea, we pull down every dominion, we pull down every name. Every other name oh, that, that, that is operating, every other evil name that is operating in this very, very country. We put them down in the name of Jesus. Every witch, is, every witch is and wizard that is operating in this very junction, we put them down in the name of Jesus. Every work of darkness that is happening in this very junction, by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, we put them down in the name of Jesus. But the name of our Lord Jesus Christ is highly lifted up. There is no one that can be compared to the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the acceptable day. Our God is a great God. Therefore, we lift up the banner of our Lord Jesus Christ today in the name of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is Lord. Because Jesus Christ lived and reigned forever. That is not like unto him. His name is highly lifted up and he is God. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. Jesus Christ is the Alpha and Omega. There is no argument. There is no argument about it. There is no confusion. Our God is a great God. 
That is only one way, Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. That is no two way. That is no one. That is no two truths. Only one truth. The truth of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is only one way, the way of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is only one life, the life through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Our God is a good God. He's the only one that can help us. He's the only one that can solve our problems. He's the only one that can strengthen us. He's the only one that can lift us up. Because Jesus Christ is lifted, and therefore He wants to lift us up. He's lifted. He's lifted. He's risen from the dead. Therefore, He wants to lift us up. Our God is a wonderful God. Our God is a faithful and a just God. Therefore, we lift up the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Today is a great day. Today is a wonderful day. Today is a perfect day that we take authority in all this junction. Every one of us. But I will take authority in this junction. Take authority in that junction. Take authority in this St. Bridge junction. We take authority, oh God, but everywhere, oh God, in this very place. And welcome to Central, oh God. But in this very London, oh God. But in this very UK, oh God. But in this very Europe, oh God. But in this very world, oh God. Take authority, O oh God, for I will claim this word, O oh God. For in the name of Jesus, my will say, give us, O oh God. Give us dominion, O oh God, over this word, O oh God, in Jesus' name. So that for every evil thing we'll be eradicated, we'll be just completely be wiped out, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Our God lives and reigns forever and ever. That is what my country comes. Jesus Christ is his name. His name is highly lifted up above every other name. Jesus Christ is his name. His name is great. His name is faithful. His name is just. His name is kind. His name is wonderful. Jesus lives and reigns forever and ever. God bless you, sir. Jesus loves you. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. It's only yes. Jesus' tomb empty. Amen. The, the, empty, the tomb is empty. It is empty. Why? It's no longer there. Why? Because he said, go to prepare a place. Prepare a place for us. Amen. Who believe on me. Amen. And my name Amen. to be with me. Amen. God Hallelujah. bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. That's good. That's good. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful. Because the tomb of Jesus Christ is empty. Our God is a good God. Because he's going to prepare a place. He's coming back again to show us the way, the truth, and the life. He's a great God. He's coming back to take us home. Take us home. Take us for Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns forever and ever. Today is a great day. It's a faithful day. Today is a just day. Today is a wonderful day. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father in heaven. His name is highly lifted up. His name is highly lifted up. The Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father in heaven. There is no one like unto God. That is not to be compared with him. His name is higher. His name is wonderful. His name is glorious. His name is perfect. His name is gracious. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because of everything you are doing, Father, you are great God. You are wonderful God. You are awesome God. Father, you are awesome God. You are awesome God, Lord Jesus. There is no one like unto you. You are great as you take authority in this junction in the name of Jesus. As we destroy every argument, as we destroy every power of darkness, as we destroy every wickedness of the power of darkness in this very place, in the name of Jesus. As we destroy every witches and wizard and every power of the evil demonic forces in this very land, in Jesus' name. As we lift up the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, who is alive and who is coming back again to judge the living and the dead, in the name of Jesus. Our God is a great God. Our God is wonderful. And the name of God is great. The name of God is perfect. The name of God is excellent, God. Our God is wonderful. He is excellent. He is mighty. He is wonderful. What, who is wonderful? Is Jesus. Jesus is wonderful. Jesus' name is highly lifted up. Jesus' name will never ever lose his power. Jesus' name will never ever lose his battle. The name, the name of Jesus Christ is stronger, brother. Jesus loves you. The name of Jesus Christ will never ever lose his power. The name of Jesus Christ will never ever lose his battle. The name of Jesus Christ always wins. The name of Jesus Christ win always. He win always. Our God is a great God. He win in the grave. He, in, he go to the grave and then he win. He win in the grave. He went to the head. He went to hell and then he win in hell. He, he destroyed devil. He smashed the head of Leviathan. He smashed the head of the devil. Our God is a good God. Our God is a winner. Winner man. Winner man. He's the winner man. Everywhere he go, he's a winner man. He is Lord. He is the King of Glory. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Jesus is His name. Our God liveth. Our God reigneth. And His name is so good. His name is so wonderful. His name is so gracious. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your name is highly lifted up, O oh God. You are wonderful God. You are great God. 
Therefore, we are taking authority in this very junction in the name of Jesus. This is a Mission Grove Junction. In the name of Jesus, we are taking authority in this Mission Grove Junction in the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up the banner of the name of our Lord Jesus Christ all over every place. In this Mission Grove Junction, Jesus Christ is risen. Our God is faithful. Our God is God. And there is no one like unto God. His name is highly lifted up. And the word of God says that in the name of Jesus Christ, every name must bow. Therefore, every new, every name that is arising against the name of our Lord Jesus Christ must bow in this very junction. Because the Lord is alive. My God is raised. Jesus Christ, Lord, God bless you. Sir. Jesus Christ loves us so much. And therefore, we are taking authority in this very place. We are, we, we are taking authority in this very land in the name of Jesus. And we say that this land is sanctified by the blood of Jesus. We, we push the blood. We, we, we pour the blood of Jesus Christ in this land. And in this junction, in this uh, mission group junction, we pour the blood of Jesus Christ. And we pray that every part of darkness, this place will be a slippery place for the part of darkness. The part of darkness can never ever stand in this place again. No more. No more. We take authority in the name of Jesus. No more. No more. We take authority in the name of Jesus. We talk authority against every dominion and against every tongue, against every mouth that rises against the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We take authority, we smash in the name of Jesus. Because our God is risen, our God is good. That is not like unto him. He is faithful and he is just. His name, his name is highly lifted up. And the Bible says, every argument in this place, every argument against the name of Christ, every every organization against the name of Christ in this place will destroy by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Our God is good. Our God is faithful. And he is coming back again. He is going to prepare a place for us. And we know he is coming back to take us home. And he given us authority to destroy, to smash every part of the darkness. Every head of the Libya. Every head of the kingdom, that kingdom of darkness. And therefore we are taking that authority. We are making use of the authority that is given to us. By the power of our Lord Jesus Christ today. And we are destroying every hand of darkness. We are destroying every prince, past and powers. We are destroying every satanic forces. We are destroying every wicked spirit. We are destroying every witches and wizards. In this very place, in this very land, in this very water, in this very world, in this very UK, in this very Great Britain, and in this very Europe, and in this very world, in the name of Jesus. But I will decree, we claim the world for Christ. Our Lord is a good God, because Christ is Lord. And he is ready and he's coming back again. Our God lives and reigns, and that is no one like that's not much in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is risen, our God is faithful, our God is just. Therefore, we position the guiding angels and the warrior angels around all on this street. We position the guiding angels and the warrior angels in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that the angels of the living God will guide this street, guide this junction, we guide this water, so we guide this Great Britain, we guide this London, we guide this Europe, we guide the whole world in the name of Jesus. Millions and billions of them. We put something everywhere in the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Because our Lord is risen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ lives and reigns forever. There is no one like unto God. Today is a day of salvation. Today is an acceptable day. Our God is great. Our God is faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our God lives and reigns. And his name is Lord. His name is Jesus. His name is the Son of God. His name is God. His name is the Messiah. Jesus Christ is the Messiah. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the Alpha and the Omega. All the praise be to His name. In Jesus' name. We proceed to take authority in another junction. Jesus Christ is good. Today is authority. We are taking authority in every junction in this great Britain. We are taking authority in every junction in this very Waterstone Central. So as we stand in one authority, we take authority in every other junction in the name of Jesus. Because the name of Jesus must be highly lifted up. Because the name of Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God is great and our God is faithful and just. And there is no one like unto him. His name is highly lifted up. And his name will always find us out. There is no hiding away from God. No hiding away of our sins from God. All our sins are present before him. He knows us. He knows our frame. He understands who we are. He made us. He created us. He's a great God. He's a wonderful God. We cannot hide away from him. Nobody can hide away from the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot hide from him because he's a great God. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day, the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. Today is the day, the day of the Lord. A good day, a wonderful day, a faithful day, a just day. It's just that day. It's just that wonderful day. Another day the Lord has given to us. Another day the Lord has blessed us with. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God is faithful and our God is just. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for us on the cross of Calvary. Jesus Christ lives and reigns. 
Jesus Christ is Lord, is powerful. There is no one like unto our Lord Jesus Christ. He is great. He is greatly to be praised. He is greatly to be lifted up. He is greatly to be worshipped. He is greatly to be exalted. The name of Jesus Christ is exalted above every other name. Our God is wonderful. Our God is excellent. Our God is mighty. Our God is glorious and gracious. Jesus Christ lives and reigns forever. Forever and ever he will be the Lamb upon the throne. We lift up his name higher above every other name. His name is highly lifted up above every other name. The Bible says that the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every demon must bow, every part of darkness must bow, every wickedness must bow, every sin must bow, every part of the evil demonic forces must bow, because Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God is risen, and he is a great God. We, be, we bless your name, Lord Jesus, because your name is great, your name is faithful, your name is kind, your name is wonderful, your name is marvelous. Father, we thank you, Lord, because you are a compassionate Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Because you've taken control of this land, you've taken control, you've taken control of this street, you've taken control, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God is living, God is alive, God is alive, God is alive, Jesus Christ is alive. Thank you for the King of glory. All the praise is to the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today is that day, the day of authority, as we take authority over every kind, over every junction that is in this bottom store market, we take authority in the name of Jesus. We take authority in the name of Jesus. We take authority in the name of Jesus. We take authority in this high street and, and Buxton Road by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we decree that every kneel must bow and we decree that every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Because our God is faithful and just, our God is wonderful, our God is mighty, that is unlike unto God. So today we take authority again in this very junction we lift up the name of Jesus Christ high above every other name. We lift up the name of Jesus Christ high above every other name. For the Bible says that the name of Jesus Christ every knee of bow. The name of Jesus Christ every tongue must confess. The Bible says that the name of Jesus Christ every tongue must confess that he is God. He is the King of Kings. So let every dominion in this place bow. Let every dominion of the power of darkness, let every forces of the demonic forces in this very place bow. In the mighty name of Jesus. We talk authority of, of, against every communion and every name that rises itself against the name of Christ in this very place. We talk authority and we bind them. We destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the name of Jesus Christ is highly lifted up. We're in a mission today. We're in a very great mission to destroy, to, to destroy every power of darkness, to destroy every prince, past and power, and to destroy every satanic force in the name of Jesus. Every demon that is walking in this very place, we destroy it in Jesus' name. Every demon that is walking in this very junction, we destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Every argument that is going on in this very junction, we destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Every tongue that is rising up against the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we destroy in this very junction, in Jesus' name. Because our God is ready. Every part of the witches and wizards that are suffering in the day and the night, in this very junction, and in every junction in water summer market, we destroy every part of that that is walking in the day and in the night, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that the children of God will be set free. This place will be set free. And this place, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, will be highly lifted up. Our God is great, our God is faithful, our God is just. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for taking control, for taking control against every power of darkness and against every prince, and power, and against every standing forces in the name of Jesus. Every demonic forces, every standing forces, bow down before the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But the Bible says, at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father in heaven. God bless you, sister. So we take authority here in Jesus' name. And we bow every spirit of demonic forces, every stunning forces, every wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. We command them to bow in the name of Jesus. Our God is a good God, our God is faithful. And we claim this land. We claim what I'm saying. We claim what I'm so much. We claim Great Britain. We claim United Kingdom. We claim the whole world. We claim you. We claim America. We claim Russia. We claim every part of the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our God is a good God. For Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ the Savior. The raising him. For Jesus Christ, we claim the world in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus Christ died for the whole world. God bless you. Jesus Christ died for the whole world. So we claim the whole world for Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our God is a living God. He's a faithful and just God. There is no one like unto God. No one to be compared with God. Jesus Christ is raised and he's alive. He's coming back. Remember, judgment day is coming, everybody. Remember that judgment day is coming. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. We are winners. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We win again in this junction. 
I'm moving to the next junction. But I will give you thanks and praise, Lord Jesus. As we go from street to street, from junction to junction, oh God, from road to road, oh God, to take authority in this in this land, oh God, in this great return, oh God. For as we go from street to street, from junction to junction, from road to road, to take authority in the name of Jesus Christ, to destroy every argument, to destroy every dominion, to destroy every principles and powers and every witches and wizard in this very place. We destroy, we, we, we destroy them by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. We crush them in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God is risen, our God is faithful, our God is just, our God is kind, our God is wonderful, our God is glorious, our God is the King of kings. Jesus Christ is Lord. That is not like unto God, no one to be compared with him. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns forever. Therefore, today we have one message. Your sin will find you out. Your sins will find you out. If you do not give your life, if you do not repent from your sins, the word of God says, behold, you have sinned. And your sins will find you out in the name of Jesus. Our God is a good God. That will take authority in this cutting place. We take authority in this junction in the name of Jesus Christ. We take authority in this cutting place. This place is called cutting place. We take authority in this place, in this very junction. This cutting junction. So we take authority in the name of Jesus. And we smash every part of that. We destroy every part of that. We overcome. We destroy every part of darkness and we say to every part of darkness, every person and part, every witness and wizard, before the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Every part of darkness that is walking in the day and in the night, in the noon and in the evening time, bow in the name of Jesus. So we destroy by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our God lives and reigns forever and ever. And today is the day of salvation. And we position the guiding angels of the Lord. The warrior angels everywhere, millions of them will, will, will position them. All the look and corners of water in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our God is great, our God is faithful, our God is just, our God is wonderful, our God is perfect. Jesus Christ lives and reigns. He is great, he is excellent God. That is not like God, that is not. No one, no one to be compared, no one to be compared with God. Our God lives and reigns. Today is that very day. Today is that very wonderful day. Today is that very, great, very great day that we're taking authority. Today our job is to take authority in every junction. Therefore we take authority in this cutting junction in the name of Jesus Christ. Authority against every demonic forces and authority against every tongue that rises up against the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Authority against every wicked spirit and authority against every evil demonic spirit in this very place. We take authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God is a great God. We lift up the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We go to another junction that's very, very close to us. It's a staggered junction. So we're going to stop at every one of them. Make sure we take authority against every part of darkness. Make sure we take authority against every principal and powers, and against every standing force, and against every demonic force. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen. He is great. He is wonderful. He is great and he is gracious. But in the name of Jesus, we stop at this junction, oh God. This is a high street and it's a crossbrook road, oh God. High street and crossbrook road junction. But I will take authority in the name of Jesus Christ. But I will pray that you reign. Come and reign in this authority. Come and reign in this very place. Come and reign in this very place. Come and reign, Lord Jesus. Come and reign, Lord Jesus. Come and reign, Lord Jesus. Come and reign, Lord Jesus, in this very land, in this land. Come and reign, O oh God, in what I'm saying. Come and reign, O oh God, in Great Britain. Come and reign, O oh God, in UK. Come and reign, O oh God, Lord Jesus. Reign. Reign in your power. Reign in your wisdom. Reign in your knowledge. Reign in your power, in the name of Jesus. We lift up the name of Jesus Christ high above every other name. And we say, God, reign, 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 reign in this, in this current brook road church. But I come and reign. 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 Because you are the reigning king. But I pray, oh God, that you will destroy every power, every argument, and every wicked money forces in this junction, oh God, but I will take authority and will destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For the name of Jesus Christ is highly lifted up. And the name of Jesus Christ, every name must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That is no one like unto God. God is great. God is great. God is just. That is not like unto him. His name is highly lifted up, brother. Jesus loves you. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming back again. Our God is coming back again. He's coming back again. He's alive. He's alive. The grave is empty. The grave is empty. The grave is empty. The grave is empty. Grave is empty because he's gone to the Father. He's gone to prepare a place for us. So the grave is empty. Our God is good. Devil, 
devil is defeated, death is defeated, principalities and powers is defeated, demonic forces is defeated. Because Jesus Christ went to the went to hedge and then he take the key from the devil. So the devil is defeated. Principalities and powers is defeated. Standing forces is defeated. Jesus Christ is raised from the dead. And God is a good God. And God is faithful and a God. That is no one like unto God. The name of God is highly lifted up. The name of God is highly lifted up above every other name. And at the name of Jesus Christ. Every new must bow. Every tongue must confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. To God be the glory in this very Carisbrook Road Junction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As you destroy every dominion, every argument, and every tongue that is rises against the word of God, every tongue that is rises against the name of Christ in this very place, we destroy in the name of Jesus. We bash, we smash in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God is a good God. God is a faithful and a just God. That is no one left unto God. Every nail must bow in this place. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God and Father in heaven. It's only one name that saves, the name Jesus Christ saves us. That's the only name that saves us. Our God is a great God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for saving us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. But I will give you praise, Lord. But I will give you worship. But I will glorify your name. But as we move to the next junction, oh God, let thy glory come, oh God. Let thy goodness come, oh God. Let thy favor come, oh God. Let thy faithfulness come, oh God. You are great, oh God. You are wonderful, Lord Jesus. You are excellent. You are exalted, King God. You are the exalted King of God. You are the Prince of Peace, Lord. You are the Lord of Lord. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. For today is the day of salvation. The grave is empty, everybody. The grave is empty because Jesus Christ is gone to prepare a place for us. That's why the grave is empty. The grave is empty because Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. But I want you to know one message we have for you today. Uh, behold, your sins will find you out. You can never ever hide yourself from God. Because God knows it. It's ever knowing God. And I'm assuring you today that your sins will find you out. Your sins will find you out. You better repent from your sins. Because your sins we do, we must find you out. Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful. That is no one like unto God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because there is no one like unto you. You are great. You are faithful. You are just. Father, we stop in this junction, O God. Father, we are taking authority in this junction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Father, we stop at this junction. Father, we take authority, O God. This junction is called Praetorial Avenue Junction. Father, we take authority in Praetorial Avenue Junction today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But I will decree and will declare that every new must bow. I will decree and will declare that every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ is a raising king. He is raising. He is raising. He is raising forever and ever and ever and ever. The name of God is highly lifted up. The word of God says, at the name of Jesus Christ, every name must bow in this pictorial avenue. Every name must bow in this pictorial avenue in the name of Jesus. And every tongue must confess. Jesus Christ is God, the glory of God, the Father in heaven. There is only one God, there is only one Savior, there is only one Jesus, there is only one Redeemer. His name is called Jesus Christ. There is no two Redeemer. There is no two Jesus. only one Jesus that is called Jesus, the Son of God, and is called the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. There is no two Savior. There is only one Savior. His name is called Jesus. There is only one Savior. His name is called Jesus. Our God is a great God. Our God is faithful and our God is just. Every moving, every moving demonic forces in this place we, we paralyze them, we destroy, we crush them, we set them to fire in the name of Jesus. But I pray like Lord you, you reign. Come, Lord Jesus, and reign in this very junction in the name of Jesus. We talk of tongues in the name of Jesus. But I will lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up the banner of our Lord Jesus Christ. But the Bible says to God, Your banner of our Lord is Lord. Lift up the spirit of love in this very place in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our God is a raising God. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. There is no one like unto God. Jesus Christ lives and reigns forever. Yeah.
Jehovah Father, every power of darkness that sits in this junction, O oh God, that is operating in this junction, every dominion, O oh God, every argument, O oh God, and every spirit of demonic forces, satanic forces, and witches, and with that satanic oppression in this very junction, O oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we condemn, we destroy, we bow them down, O oh God, we flush them, O oh God, by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we destroy them, O oh God, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Shara, para, katara, katara, katara. For our position, O God, the guided angels, so God, all of us, the position of God, the guiding angels, so God, all of us, the warrior angels, so God, Father, to destroy every power of darkness in this place, Father, we destroy every principles and powers in this place, Father, we destroy every static powers in this place, so God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But we enthrone you, Lord. We enthrone you, the King, the King of Kings, the King of Glory. We enthrone you, Lord Jesus Christ. 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 But I will give you all the praise. But I will give you all the worship because your name is highly lifted up. But I will give you praise. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you because you have overcome. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, we pray. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the King of Kings. Jesus is the Lord of Lords. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is God. Father, come and reign in this very place. Come and reign in this land. In the name of Jesus. Come and reign because you are the owner of this very place. You are the owner of this very land. You are the, you are the owner of Great Britain. You are the owner of the world. You are the owner of Europe. You are the owner of America. You are the owner of the whole world. You are the owner of the earth because you made the earth. Oh, come. Therefore, I pray in your power, you made the earth. And in your power, come and rule in this earth which you've made in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our God is a great God. Blessed be the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, who died for us to set us free. Today is a great day. Today is a faithful and just day. Our God is risen. Jesus Christ is risen forever and ever and ever. He is alive. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you because your name is highly lifted up, O Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Today is a great day. Today is a wonderful day. Jesus Christ lives and reigns. Thank you, O the King of glory. Father, we bless you, Lord. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you all the honor, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Braco sento de braca sento de braca sentara braca raco sento de braca seri seri que braca la casento de braca braca seri caseri casenta zara ca braca seri casenta ra braca caseli sento de braca seli sento de braco shenda. But this is King James Street, O God. But this King James Street, O God. But we take authority, O God. In this King James Street, O God. Take authority over in this kingdom spirit on the high street, O God. Take authority in this place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I will pray that you come and take preeminence of God in this kingdom street, O God, and in this high street, O God. Come and take preeminence of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Father, you are Lord, you are God. And every name was bowed, and every tongue was confessed that Jesus Christ is Lord. By this King James Street to God, I take authority on this King James Street. I take authority to God on this high street. I take authority in black muscle. I take authority to God in high country. I take authority to God in Great Britain. I take authority to God in the whole UK. I take authority to God in the whole world. I take authority in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I pray, O oh God, that Father, you will live and you reign and you will be God forever and ever. Lady Cabraco, the Sele Cabraca, the Catele, the Centaur of Cabraca, 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 Lady Cabraca, la Caselli, say Cabraca, Chantole Cabraca, Celi Cabraca, Celi, Centara Braca, Chantole Cabraca, la Cacentole Cabraca, Tala Cacelli Catenda. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, take authority, take authority, take authority in this area, O God. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, because the name of Jesus Christ is highly lifted up, we're going to go to name. The Bible says that the name of Jesus Christ, every name must bow. So this King James Junction, this King James Road must bow. This High Street, Letty Stone must bow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because your name is enthroned, O oh God. Blessed be your name, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, God, for giving us victory. We, are, we win today. We win today. We are winners today. We are winners today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So now we've taken authority. We've taken authority over all the junction in this high street. And over all the junctions in this, um, in this very um, St. James' Street, we've taken authority over every junction. 
over every junction, over every junction, from one junction to other. We take no authority over everyone of them. Now we are going to pray ourselves. We're going to pray through. Go back and smash everything that remains. We're going to pray from here to all the end, all the end of this high street. We're going to pray from here. We're going to pray all the way to the whole street. From here to whole street. That's our job now. That's the next assignment that God has given to us. We're going to pray from here to the whole street junction, to the end of this very high road. In Jesus' name. Father, give us grace and strength and give us victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Blessed be the name of our Lord and our Savior. Thank you, Jesus.